when one day we were asked if we wanted to attend a two-day workshop. Both of us and everyone in the club were very keen to attend and learn what Millennium Kids was. Little did we know that this workshop would open our eyes to the world of possibilities that Millennium Kids could offer. I think we were both expecting to be sat down and taught what the issues of the world are, what young people know today and what sustainability meant. But instead, when we met the lovely Kat and Joanne, they told us to write on a piece of paper what we thought the big issues in the world were. Then we were asked to share what we thought the issues were and they were written down on a whiteboard. And this was one of the big things that stood out, stood out to us. We were actually asked our opinion and we, weren't, and we weren't treated just like kids didn't know anything. That's what was so special to us about Millennium Kids. The kids get to decide what, what the big issues are. Anyway, after that we were told to go to... After that, we were told to come up with a business idea and help, and that helped solve one of these issues. We were brought through the process of developing our business ideas, thinking of the benefits and whether it was solving the problem and what resources we would need. Then, at the end of the day, we were surprised by Kat telling us, hey, you're going to be pitching for $250 to start your project tomorrow. We were taken aback by the idea. And a little bit nervous at first. But when we realised what a great opportunity this was, we dived in head first. So, the next day, we created our pictures and presented them to the class. And the person who won, who sadly couldn't be here, Shiori, whose amazing idea was to create a website and paint coasters of endangered species that not many people know about to highlight the possibly less cute animals that not many people know about. Even though we didn't win, it was a great learning experience for all of us. And it really helped us to think about the products that we could make and how we could improve on their design and actually make it happen. My idea is to create pencil cases out of old jeans. I would sell these pencil cases to local markets or fill the pencil cases with stationery bought by, bought by the funds raised by selling the pencil cases at the markets and give them to school students who may be in poverty who may have an impoverished family. And my design is a not depressing newspaper made out of recycled paper that highlights um, small organisations that are making a really big change in this world and to make people not think that the world is a really depressing place where there's no hope for the future. Um, the proceeds of my newspaper will also go to these businesses so they can keep doing what amazing things that they're doing. We are so glad to have this wonderful opportunity and we hope that through Millennium Kids, we can change the world together. Thank you. Thank you.